Well, let's take you to the U.S. now, where a Libyan man accused of making the bomb that destroyed Pan Am Flight 103 over Lockerbie 34 years ago is due to appear in court in Washington, D.C. The U.S. announced charges against Abu Aguila Massoud two years ago, alleging he'd played a key role in the bombing. 259 passengers and crew on board the London to New York flight died. Another 11 people were killed in Lockerbie when wreckage destroyed their homes. Our chief correspondent, John Cookson, has this report. The bombing of Pan Am 103, four days before Christmas in 1988, stunned the world. It was the deadliest terrorist incident on British soil. Most of the passengers aboard the flight were American citizens heading home for the festive holiday, including 35 students from Syracuse University. Only one man has ever been convicted, Libyan Abdul Batit al-Magrahi, seen on the left. He was sentenced to 20 years by a Scottish court, but released early after he was found to be dying of cancer. He died claiming his innocence. The US announced charges against Abu Aguila Massoud, seen on the back row, two years ago, alleging he'd played a key role in the bombing. American prosecutors allege he made the bomb. Lawyers for the al Magrahi family are extremely skeptical. We looked at the time at the claims of the Americans. They claimed that Massoud's confession to being involved in a conspiracy with al Magrahi to block Plan on Flight 103 was extracted by a Libyan law enforcement agent in 2012 whilst Mr. Massoud was in custody. So we carried out some investigations into that. And what we found was that Massoud is actually in the custody of a warlord who has been widely condemned for human rights abuses. And the circumstances in which that confession was extracted would be strongly opposed, I suspect, in any um, US um, criminal justice system or the Scottish criminal justice system. The town of Lockerbie knows all too well the twists and turns of this story. A new trial may prove once and for all who bombed Pan Am 103. John Cookson, Arise News. And Arise Chief Correspondent John Cookson joins me now for more on that story. Uh, good to see you, John. I understand there's lots of controversy over where this trial should take place. Hi, hey Charles, good to see you. Yes, well, the Americans obviously want this to uh, take place in uh, in America. And in fact, uh, uh, the accused man, Abu Masood, is due to appear in court in uh, Washington, D.C. At some point uh, today, the FBI are going to hold a press conference as well at uh, uh, some point. Uh, there has, of course, been a trial uh, of uh, two suspects in the Lockerbie bombing. Uh, that was back in uh, uh, 2000, and it was a 23 a week, uh, a 30 week trial at Camp Zeist in the Netherlands, where a Scottish court was moved from uh, its home in Scotland to Camp Zeist. And uh, Abu Basit al Magrahi uh, was the only man, as I say uh, in my report, who was actually found guilty. The other man, Lama and Fima, was found uh, not guilty. But uh, although the uh, UK families might uh, want a trial on Scottish soil, uh, I, I think uh, as this man. Uh, this new suspect, the third man, if you like, is in custody in the States and appearing in court in D.C. today at some point, then the trial will happen in, in America. It's interesting, John, as we saw in your report, that this Pan Am flight was brought down in 1988, but there are still so many loose ends that are still hanging from this case. Absolutely. 34 years ago is a long time. I was actually uh, in, in Lockerbie uh, reporting for another TV channel uh, back then. I was at, at the scene. I also attended uh, uh, some of the uh, trials that took place in, in Tripoli when the two men, the two original accused, appeared in court and the, uh, the West was, was trying to extradite them. I also sat down with Colonel Gaddafi a couple of times to talk about Pan Am 103. But in the background of all of this, Charles, is a very, very murky world of uh, the CIA, the German Secret Service, the Libyan Secret Service, uh, MI6. And the story that has come out of Washington and has been perpetrated across the years is that these two Libyans, the original Lib Libyans, Lam and Fima, and Abdul Basid al Magrahi, uh, they uh, uh, were involved in the bombing of Pan Am 103, and, and they were, as I say, uh, uh, sent to trial. One of them found uh, 
one of them found guilty. Uh, he was given a life sentence, but died died of cancer and was freed before he completed his sentence. I'm very, very doubtful whether uh, they'll get a conviction of uh, Abdul Masood, uh, Charles. And the reason why I'm saying this is that as far as I know, the only evidence that the Americans have is that he confessed to being a bomb maker for Colonel Gaddafi uh, back in two, 2012, that's 10 years ago. And he confessed to a Libyan warlord. Now, whether that evidence uh, is reliable what one has to question that uh, we're looking at images of him in court having uh, been uh, tried for bomb making activities by the new regime in libya following uh, gaddafi's downfall but I, I i'm very very skeptical that the americans will actually get a conviction on this purely because the, the evidence is so unreliable well, my next question was going to be, John, I mean, you followed this case from the outset, um, whether you get the sense that justice is either finally being done or getting close to being done in this case that's been hanging there for 34 years. That's a good question, Charles, and it really depends on whether you think that the Libyans were actually behind the bombing of Panama 103. From the investigations that I've made over the years, I'm, I, I'm very doubtful, and in fact, the Lockerbie families here in the UK uh, are very doubtful that the Libyans were involved. Uh, the, the, what they believe is that the Iranians uh, paid for uh, Panama 103 to be bombed, and they paid a Palestinian group, or indeed, uh, as I've heard, a Turkish baggage handler at Frankfurt to put the bomb on the feeder flight that went to London that was ultimately boarded onto Panama 103, which is bound from London to New York. Uh, so uh, all of these questions have dogged the, the, this story uh, for, for, for so many years. If you watch the American media today, you, you, you would think that this, 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 this fellow, Abu Masood, has been found guilty and he, he's the third bomber and that's the end of the story. I'm afraid it's, it's really only the beginning and the reason why I'm saying that is that the, he has to stand trial. All the evidence from the past is going to have to go, be gone through uh, once again and all the doubts raised about Libyan involvement will be raised yet again. John, thank you very much indeed. John Cookson, a rise chief correspondent, talking to me about that uh, ill-fated Pan Am flight uh, that was brought down over Lockerbie in Scotland.